In 1855, a husband murdered his newlywed bride in a village in rural France. Villagers found the girl's chest all torn apart, her husband covered in blood and in a state of psychotic raving. He had actually eaten some of his wife's chest. Both died shortly afterwards. It was only some time later that people remembered that the husband had been bitten by a strange dog. He had rabies, and this disease may well be connected with much of our folklore about werewolves and vampires because it's often transmitted by bats and dogs. To this day, by the time that symptoms show up, you're doomed. There is no cure. Rabies attacks the central nervous system, leading to convulsions, mania, and a fear of water. What's even more terrible is that people dying of rabies occasionally have lucid moments, and so can explain to you how terrified they are. But I would argue that there is a disease even more terrible than rabies, if only because of how common it was. That disease is smallpox. However, in 1977, smallpox was eradicated through a campaign of vaccination. Countless millions of people have been saved from both smallpox and rabies because of this miracle technology, vaccines. But what if I told you that vaccines have a dark side? A hideous dimension that no self-professed vaccine skeptics are discussing. The story of vaccines will take us to the very extremes of human good and evil. And if you'd like to know more, please check out the full video on my YouTube channel.